Welcome to Two Minute Fluid Mechanics, helping you learn some fluid mechanics in about two minutes. Fluid viscosity and its bearing on journal bearings. Your intuition about friction may be fiction. Hey, Professor. Yeah, I missed class today. My girlfriend needed a new cell phone and I... Uh... Yeah, I don't need to hear your lame excuses. What do you want? Well, I don't understand viscosity, man. Can you explain it? Uh, well, I'll share my screen from this morning's class. Thanks, dude. Don't call me dude. Viscosity is a fluid property related to the internal resistance or friction of a fluid to motion. Technically, viscosity is a measure of a fluid's resistance to the rate of deformation. Mathematically, viscosity appears in the relationship between the stress tensor and the strain rate tensor. We use the Greek symbol mu for viscosity, typically in units of newton second per meter squared. Viscosity affects both normal and shear stresses. But for simplicity, we consider only shear stresses here. Consider a thin layer of fluid between two parallel plates. The no slip condition sets u equals zero on the bottom plate and u equals v on the top plate. The velocity profile turns out to be linear. The force required to pull this upper plate is mu times the surface area of the plate times v over l. Now consider an axisymmetric version of this, a rotating inner cylinder and a stationary outer cylinder with a gap of fluid in between. This is not to scale, but if the gap width is small, l much less than r, then the velocity profile is approximately linear, just like with the parallel plates. We can measure the torque required to turn this inner cylinder at a constant RPM. Then we can solve for mu. We get mu proportional to torque. An important application is for journal bearings. A journal bearing consists of a housing, a journal or a shaft, and a lubricant in the thin gap between the cylinders. When the shaft is centered, the previous equation still applies. We can solve this equation for torque. Turns out that the torque on the rotating shaft is linearly proportional to the viscosity of the lubricant. Then why do they use high viscosity oils in journal bearings then, man? Wouldn't it be better if they used like water or something? I was just about to get to that. When there's a load on this journal bearing, the load it supports is also proportional to the viscosity of the lubricant. So to support high loads, you need a high viscosity fluid. Besides, these things get hot and the water could boil. Thanks, dude. I mean, professor. Yeah. Make sure you show up for class next time. I'll try, man. See you later, dude. Yeah. They don't make students like they used to. In summary, viscosity is a fluid property related to internal resistance or friction. When fluid is in the thin gap between parallel plates, force is linearly proportional to the fluid's viscosity. The load on a journal bearing is also linearly proportional. A low viscosity oil yields low torque at the expense of low load. That's why a high journal bearing load requires a high viscosity oil. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.